Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Maddie, and if you're new here, I love sewing, traveling, and eating food all over the world. And today we are making a very romantic dress, just in time for Valentine's Day. Let's go ahead and get started. So the design here is fairly simple, except it does feature one slightly more difficult technique called draping. Here is the intended design for our dress. So we have a little bit of draping here, some really puffy sleeves, and a nice wide skirt. So we have three options of fabric here. So there is this dark burgundy sheet, which is a little bit thin for my taste, especially because I'm doing draping. I also have this red panel. The pattern for the skirt for this project is 9276 by Simplicity, and I am only going to be using this top half portion. Now the one thing I am going to alter is I am going to make the skirt a little bit wider so it's more flared and fits the original design that I drew. Now for the bodice we are using the Cosmo dress, specifically the bodice portion, located on moodfabric.com. Now if you go there you can look at the free patterns and the Cosmo dress is listed on there. <music> out, I'm going to go ahead and sew them together and I'll meet you back once that's finished. Okay guys, so we finished the skirt pieces and now all I have left to do with them is hem the base of the skirt, which I'll do in just a minute. But once we're done hemming the base of the skirt, we're going to go ahead and move on to the bodice. The plan with the bodice is to sew the side backs together and then sew the center front of the bodice together separately. So I went ahead and pinned the center bodice onto my dress form and now I'm going to go ahead and start draping. Once I completed draping, I attached the side fronts to the side backs. Here is the finished outer bodice. Now I'm going to repeat these steps with the lining. Here is the lining stacked on top of the center of the bodice, and I'm going to go ahead and sew both together. has been about two and a half hours since starting this project and now that I have finished sewing the bodice together I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the skirt. We have finished the main body of the dress and all I have left to do is sew the sleeves. Here is what our dress looks like. It is super pretty. Obviously this is sticking down but it'll stand up once I attach the sleeves and I think what we're going to do is make a sleeve very similar to the shirt I'm wearing but cut it off about a quarter of my arm and we are going to go ahead and use the Rue dress sleeve pattern, also a dress you find on moodfabric.com. And we're going to go ahead and cut those pieces out and sew them together. It's actually been a couple days later. So here's what it looks like. I went ahead and added straps and then added the sleeves and the sleeves have this cute little cuff. And in the back, I added a red zipper, uh, but that's pretty much it. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe. I love showing you what I do and I have a ton of new exciting content in the future. Also to note, I have a secondary channel called Maddie Lane, one word, which will focus on a lot more long form vlogs and behind the scenes of how I get these amazing locations in my reveals. Anyway, besides that, I also am going to be posting a lot more polls on the community portion of my channel if you're interested. I need a lot of help in the next couple months deciding projects I'm going to make before I head back to the States for college. If you didn't know, I live in Europe currently, so I have lots of opportunities to get pictures and places in these videos, so please drop a comment if you're interested in a location that you'd like to see me film. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and get to the reveal.